Yo, what's up guys? Michael Six Muldoon here. I'm currently waiting for my boy Xavier Spade. We're gonna head out, film some stuff. Um, but man, it is hot. And I like the heat. This is, this is hot. Let's go check it out, see what's happening. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure. I found him. I found him. He, he wasn't hard to find. He, he pulled up to the front of my house. It was much easier that way. But this, this, he's waiting for the queue. Is this how you do it? Uh, I is this the pose? <laughs> hey. Glad you, glad you were able to make it to uh, this episode of uh, <laughs> The Dog Looks Better Than Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would pick that too, right? So, hey, what's up, what's up, people? I'm gonna show you some moves, and then if you want to know how to use these moves, I'm gonna show you something you could use these moves with on my channel. So, let's get into the moves so that you can then do the moves and know how to do the moves so you can go to my channel and use the moves in the trick that uses those moves. What he said. I'm gonna show you three moves. I'm gonna show you how to do a double lift, which is French for lifting two cards together as one. Well. And then I'm going to show you a tilt. And I'm also gonna show you an interesting shuffle called a pharaoh that has some interesting properties, but I'm not gonna go into that too much. We're just gonna show you what's going just the shuffle. So let's do that right now. In circa 16, <laughs> a move was called was created where they lift two cards as one, and the Frenchman uh, called double the double double lift. So we're going to show you how to do that first. And basically, all you need is a deck of paste boards, also known as paste boards. <laughs> and you don't need a complete deck of paste boards. Just use a few. But basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna take two cards and you're gonna turn them over together as one. So let's start with how you do that. Uh, I'll show you two ways, one with a break and one without a break. So without a break, what I like to do is take the deck, hold it in hand in this mechanics grip, which is thus, index finger on the top, the middle finger, ring finger, pinky on the side, and the thumb on the other side. And it, you should be able to kind of do this with the deck. So I'm kind of beveling it back and forth. You wanna be able to do that. And for this, first double, you want to bevel it towards the finger. So you're going to take your thumb, just roll it over so that a lot of the bevel is slanted towards your fingers. And what you're going to do is take your index finger of your opposite hand and you're going to count two, just like that. Just one, two. And now you're going to turn these over. That is called a uh, strike double. It's called a strike double. So we'll get into the nitty gritty. Besides, now I'm doing it pretty exaggerated where I'm lifting one here and then <laughs> to there. You don't necessarily want to do it that big. Just a little bit of a break is what you want. Let them come together. I then put my fingers into the break like this. Thumb goes on top. And now I don't move. I don't move these fingers again because then the fingers are split. I just leave them here and I slide it across the deck. Once it gets to the end, I'm just going to let it fall face up. Just like that. Now, uh, that's one way to let it fall. Another way is to do something called an Altman trap. So what you're gonna do is throw the fat part of your thumb. If you're like me, this is a very big part of your thumb. And uh, <laughs> so you just throw your, your fat in there, right? It's like your thumb belly. And now you push down with your thumb and you release with your pinky and it pops up. And then you can readjust. So that's called the Altman Trap, and that will convert it to a pinky break. So it kind of looks like this weird card dance, right? You just let it fall over, and then you do that, right? So on the fat of the thumb, and then it pivots over, just like that. So that is a strike double, double lift. Let's go into a double lift that uses a break and a pinky break. So uh, there's a lot of work on different ways to get breaks on cards. You'll see people that they do this. If you do this to get a break on two cards with a full deck, put the cards away and just go home. Just stop, terrible. Don't ever do that. Let's do something a little bit more of what a real magician would do. 
So let's do a peaky count. So just like before, you have this grip, and instead of beveling it towards the fingers, you're now gonna bevel it towards the thumb, like this. And all you have to do is just count with your pinky. Now you have to strengthen your pinky a bit. You're not gonna get this in the very beginning. You're just gonna count two cards. So in the beginning, what's gonna happen is you're gonna try to count, but it's gonna get clumps. So just practice riffling down like that. Until you can get a few, maybe, it's like 10, 15 cards, until you can get it pretty smooth. And that should allow you to get two cards really smoothly. So you get two, and now you just throw your pinky in there, and now you have a break on two. And it's pretty much gonna be the same thing as the last Jubilee, where you stick your fingers in. <laughs> uh, stick your fingers in. And your thumb goes on top, and you just slide it across, and then you get your little open trap, and you have a break. Just like that. So practice that. That is uh, two double lists. Man, I'm giving you guys extra, bro. Give you guys extra. Make sure you guys uh, hit that subscribe button because this, this this stuff ain't free, even though it is totally free. <laughs> Let's go on to the next one. So before uh, the double lift was a thing in ancient Egypt, the pharaohs had their own shop, and it was called the Pharaoh Shop because the pharaohs. This is the dumbest line ever. It's so stupid. Basically, I'm gonna show you how to do a shuffle that weaves cards individually in a row. That uh, is actually a mathematical thing. So if you learn more about the shuffle, you can actually use it to cheat and stack decks and a whole bunch of other stuff. But I'm just gonna show you how to shuffle like a pharaoh. So, so you're just gonna break off some cards and you wanna try to keep the edges as flat as possible. Now, I hold a weird grip when I, when I do a pharaoh shuffle. Like I know Shin Lim does this thing where he's like doing this weird hand motion. I don't do that. I've always done it like this because I always had trouble with it. So with my right hand, my ring finger is on the bottom of the deck and my pinky is gonna be at the top pushing in together. And then on this hand, my middle finger is pulling in while my index finger pushes out. <laughs> it's very weird. But what this does is it allows me to control the pressure of the cards, right? So if you're watching the cards weave in, it almost looks like it's like splitting. It's kind of cool to watch actually. When you, well, it, even if you watch it, it still looks kind of cool as they just kind of go into each other. I don't know, I think it looks cool. But there's three basic types of pharaohs. You have your in pharaoh, out pharaoh, and then your straddle pharaoh, right? So an in pharaoh is when the top card of the deck changes. So there's your in pharaoh, even though the rest of it is crap, doesn't matter. What matters is this, right? In pharaoh. Out pharaoh is when the top card stays the same. So if I were to have this card on top, and then I do a pharaoh, that card stays on top. And then you have a straddle pharaoh, which is kind of uh, a really useful pharaoh for some things, but basically, oh wow, I did it perfect. Let's, let's do a, a <laughs> wasn't supposed to do it perfect. We just kind of do this. So you have cards on the top and bottom, and then you can pull these out and finish the pharaoh that way. It has its uses for certain things, not for everything, but it is something I just figured I'd tell you. So let's talk about how to actually make this thing work because it can be kind of tricky when you first start trying to do it and you'll probably ruin a lot of cards if you don't pay attention. All right, so the deck that I'm using is broken in. This is the first series of knocks that came out in 1872 from Alex Pandrea. And what you could do when you get a brand new deck of cards is kind of break in the deck a little bit. So you just rub it on your jeans on all the corners like that, just to soften the edges a bit. And then when you go to start your fair, you're gonna notice something very quickly. Either they go right in or they don't. And if they don't, it's because of the way the cards were cut. So if you don't know, cards are cut with a machine and cuts. And depending on the direction, that's what's gonna make it easier to farrow one way or the other. So before you break in the deck, when it's brand new, it's gonna be extremely hard. So if you try to pharaoh a deck by, you can use this method if you want, where you just push it in. If you notice, I'm not pushing straight in, I'm kind of pushing at an angle like this, and I'm weaving them in this way, I'm rocking it in. So I touch the edges, and I rock it in, see that? And that's what does the pharaoh. But when you're first starting, this may be a little bit difficult. So if you're trying to do it this way with the cards facing one direction, and you notice that it's not going in right away, just turn the cards around. <laughs> that's that's the secret. Uh, these are broken in, so of course I could do it both directions, but that's pretty much it. So play with the rocking, 
you know, like again, I'm not pushing straight in. I'm just kind of starting with one corner, corner to corner like that. And then I rock and I slide the edges in. Now you see that I messed up. So now I can go backwards and I can try it again, right? So using the method that I use, it kind of allows me to control it a little bit better for me. It's not for everybody, but try different methods. You know, look at the Pharaoh and try it for yourself and find out which way works the best for you. And let's go to the third thing. Uh, Ed Marlowe's Depth Illusion is what they called it one, one time. And then people forgot and they started calling it Tilt. So there you go. Let's show you how to do that. It's really simple, but I'll show you a couple of touches on it. So basically what the Tilt is, is it's trying to mimic this action. It's trying to make it look like you're putting a card into the middle of the deck. So let's say I have a queen. I'm going to take that queen and I'm just going to push it into the middle of the deck. But really, I put it second from the top. That's it. So what I did there is really simple. I pushed off one card and I hold a break on another and I open that break up. So as I pull the card back, I just use my finger to lift up and then I hold that. That's it. Now, what I try to do is uh, put it on that card on top of the deck and then I push it square and then I just open my hand. <laughs> That's it. That's the secret. There's all these people that do all these weird dodges and stuff. I don't like any of it, even though I do one, but mine is better. <laughs> anyway, so so that's it. So you take the card, you put it here. This is this is good for like an ambitious card, right? So you can uh, show a double and then put the card in the middle and then show it came to the top and then you put it back in the middle and that's it. Now you're ready to do a double again. The second from the top so you get your break you do a double and you could just do ambitious card for the rest of your life in this position because you've given up on magic and <laughs> this is what's happening <laughs> so you now you're just doing this move over and over do the do the do the damn tilt let's get out of here <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy so there you have it those are three things that you can start practicing right away but even better than that there's an application you can use for on this guy's page so it's linked in the description below, probably floating above my head at the moment right now. So make sure you go click that link, uh, watch that, learn in effect you can use all three of those moves with, and hope you have some fun with that guys. So thanks for checking us out, right? That's your cue. Oh, sorry, uh, what? Say goodbye. Kisses. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up.